guys, it's Holly from Camden Hill and I've only been imagining in lockdown how much you guys are all missing the CHLTC brownies. So I'm going to show you in a video today how to make a slightly adapted recipe at home uh, to celebrate Easter. First step is get all your ingredients ready. We've got uh, 250 grams of chocolate, 250 grams of butter, four eggs, 250 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of plain flour and one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Now I'm quickly going to run through uh, what you can supplement. Chocolate, can't really supplement that, that's got to be legit. Butter you can supplement with uh, margarine. If you're a bit tight on eggs, three will be fine, just it will be a little bit more cakey. Uh, caster sugar, you can use any other sugar you have in your cupboards, like muscovado, dark brown, whatever. And flour, I have made this brownie so many times, the same quantity, 150 grams, supplemented with ground almonds or gluten-free bake, um, baking flour or self-raising flour would even be fine. And then cocoa powder is not an essential, so if you don't have it, don't worry. Let's get cracking. Okay, so the second step is put your oven on. Uh, we're at 150 today. This is a fan oven, so 150. So I've broken up my uh, chocolate and I put the butter on top because then the heat of the butter melts the chocolate. And I've broken up my eggs and I've sieved my flour and uh, cocoa powder. So you're gonna melt the chocolate and the butter in the microwave in 30 second blasts. I'm pop my in. Whilst that's going, mix your eggs. Okay. Get rid of all the lumps. Add your sugar. It should be nice and emulsified and smooth like that okay so step three i've now got my uh butter and chocolate you can see all the butters on the top and melted um this probably took me like five 30 second blasts so checking every 30 seconds maybe giving it a little stir or not so now i mix this you put your spatula in the middle you've got to be a little bit patient and just give it a little stir it will come together. I'm really hoping I don't spill any of this. So just mix it all together. No lumps. Okay. And now it's not hot, mine. It's just melted. It's like, you can see I can touch the bowl. Now I'm going to add it to scraping out all those corners. Add it to my eggs and sugar. And then give this a really good whisk. Okay, so you can see what kind of texture it is. Gloopy and well mixed. And you can see from the outside of the bowl, I haven't got any lumps there. And then finally, I'm gonna add my flour and my cocoa. It's important you sieve it because that stops you getting quite big lumps. But if you're using a whisk like I am, And get these lumps out. Bit of uh, cardio that Robin would be proud of. Practicing those uh, tennis arms, elbows. Okay, so there you go. I've got no lumps in my bowl. And I've got a really nice thick 
gloopy mixture, which I am now ready to put into the baking tray. So I have got here, it's about 30 centimeters by 15 uh, silicone baking tray, which I've lined with baking paper. 20 by 20 centimeter would be fine. 15 by 15 would be fine. Victoria sandwich round tin would be fine. Um, the bigger it is, the more you want to watch the bake because it will cook quicker. So that's the only difference. So now I'm going to pour the mix into my tin. Get out all of the corners, no waste. Spread it right up to the edges. And then my little Easter twist is going to be um, instead of the white chocolate drops that we usually add at the club, I'm going to use these mini eggs. I've got three packets here and just drop them all over. These will make nice chocolate lumps. Plop some in so they go nice and deep. like this and if you didn't have mini eggs I would happily just use chunks of got some here mini a white chocolate chunks and you just blob them in around okay so though that's gonna go in the oven I'm gonna put a timer on for 15 minutes and that's when I'm gonna check and see if they're ready Okay, so I checked mine after 15 minutes, they were still a bit too gooey, so I gave them another five. So these have had 20 minutes in total at 150. And here they are. So what you're looking for, what you're looking for is like raised edges and these little cracks around the edges. And then it's got a nice little slight wobble to it which means it's still going to be gooey when it's cooled down so leave that to cool or if you were having it as a pudding you could tuck into it now as some ice cream but we're going to leave this to cool and have it with our tea this afternoon thanks for watching guys and happy baking any questions feel free to email me there hattie and um and i can help you with any baking queries you have bye